it's the way that you chose to handle the whole overall situation and you leave it at that does you still do you still maintain some level of disdain for him based on things he said but you're just not willing once he apologized to me homie for my mom i'm talking about the little nigga because dewberry oh, really don't pay no attention to charlie man because you know I'm, he's I'm, a clown I'm, I'm, i ain't gonna lie this is at this moment i'm speaking on behalf of people i respect similarly i respect you and your age bracket on this creeping shit because they whole issue with dude is because nobody can deny the brilliance that is attached to him to some degree but he's made some very derogatory, disrespectful say, statements about certain individuals that certain people refuse to get be behind. Are you saying that the whole Raymond Washington shit is you don't give a fuck about that? Um, I, I care about Raymond, homie. You know that's the, that's that's the the beginning and the end. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, enough to crash out and go back to prison for it. Say I less. wasn't finna do that. Makes sense. That I wasn't finna do. It. I don't care what nobody say. And it ain't like I call flack for my homies. I knew I was gonna catch flack. I called flack for my homies. They were like, dang, cuz I say, man, look, this little one-eyed fool goes everywhere. And he and ain't nobody put no hands on him, period yet. Don't wait till he fall in my lap. My and homies, want me to do it. One of my homies done got caught on camera being very comfortable and friendly with him. That, you know, it wasn't appreciated by the section yeah. either or people in general. But, you know, it is what it is, dude is a little bigger than normal, bigger than life. We know he throws around threats of dealing with them people and all that. Right. It's one thing to not attack him. I think it's a whole nother thing to f engage him friendly. Right. And all that. And that's the thing. only, that's the only thing. Like, it's a lot, it's a lot that go on behind scenes. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know, like, you see a lot of stuff on, 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 on YouTube with with you know homies in LA going back and forth doing this and this. If I wanted to, I can't do that. Not my set don't play that. Even though I'm on the YouTube and I'm a general for my section, homie, I'm even my, you know my word is law. That don't mean nothing. And I still I'm still up under the protocol. I could I, I can man, I can attest to this you know? by experience. When 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 the big homie first put his feet down online, one of the first people he bumped heads with was me and um he was speaking in my opinion in my assessment carelessly about my name and associated with what another nigga said he was just engaging com comments i didn't appreciate him but i didn't make videos in response i got in his comments and started yeah. trolling him and he was new to this shit. he would read my comments and then respond with a video and it began to escalate and me just can realize what he represent his authenticity. I chose to like, instead of engaging him online, let me tap into the back channels, have a real man to man, east side, crip conversation. And it only took a matter of moments. And he and I have been like, ever since it wasn't nothing, it was nothing. So I can attest to the fact that you started off one way on this shit. Then based on what you learned, I've watched you and you've told me, you be, so many times you've got involved in controversial conversations when it was bi-coastal or a different area code. You be, and then it'd be certain shit that burn you and you'll call me like, cuz, I just ain't with no LA on LA shit. Yeah, so right, the same way, I, yeah, the I discipline you stick to with the cussing, you stick to that issue. So I, yeah. when he said that, he not faking y'all. Right. I, I, I'll take a loss, I'll take a loss before I, before I get on here and make my set look bad or before I just, you know, be going back and forth with our homies that's from LA. You know what I'm saying? Oh, from 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 you know, from our, you know, from from Cali. Me too. Now I will, I, if if a person in other states say something that I feel like I, you know, her. But at the end of the day, homie, I'm a West Coast All-Star. I love my people. You know, blue, red, don't make no difference. I'm Likewise. me. I am not finna go at I'm not finna go back and forth with nobody from Cali. You know, if they saying something, boom, because like I say, in my set. If I get on here and, and and say some gang goofy stuff, and so I'm finna get a phone call. Mm -hmm. Whether they little homies, big homies, homies from my generation, they fit. I'm finna get a call like Tune Cub, man. We seen what's up, woo 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 woo. And I'm like, oh man, but yeah, hey, Cub, that ain't cool. Bet it up. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I say, cause I come back, even though I live in Alabama, I come back two, three times a year. I gotta ask you about this, bro. So when 600 popped up in your set, doing videos about boxing matches and seemingly being antagonistic. 
Did you get any phone calls about that? Did that cause? What? <laughs> what? Man, cuz. Man, he was barely out the set. Man, they were blowing my the tune cup, man. This fool over here, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, hold up. And they getting at me. And I don't even, I hadn't seen the video yet. I don't know nothing about it yet. I'm like, hold up, cuz. What you talking about? Man, this fool from 6 old cuz. He over here in the set, man. Talk, make a video, man. Cuz, man, look. We woo, woo. And, the, and they think he is, look. You doing YouTube. You on the internet. We not. We ain't got nothing to do with that internet mess because that's your stuff. Don't let what you have going on bleed over into what we doing in these streets. And I understand that 100%. I'm saying, cuz, I don't know nothing about it. I call 600. I'm like, what you doing? The thing is, what a lot of people don't know, he had called me three times prior to going over there. I didn't answer the phone and I seen the calls, mm. but I didn't answer the phone because I didn't know the number. Was, and, maybe that's when he had the two numbers just with, yeah, I remember. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. If, I don't, if I don't know your number, I'm not finna answer the phone. And he was calling me to ask me, was this cool? And if, if I would have answered it, I, no, cuz don't do that one, homie. You know what I'm saying? We doing some internet boxing. If we gonna do that, let's up. pull up together. Pull up together. Yes. And, or, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, but he tried to follow protocol and get the permission. And even though, you know, even though, you know, he, you know, he's from LA. I'm going to just say it. The homie doesn't really know gang protocol as well as some of us do, you know? Because, you know, if somebody who really, really knows it wouldn't have never even done that. Even if he had permission, would not have Based done that. Based on current temperatures with certain sexes. Right, like, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And so when he did it, but now, for those who don't know, he didn't mean no disrespect. At all. At all. You know what I'm saying? He's not like that. I genuinely like the dude, for real. Mm -hmm. I, and I told people that. I like him, you know what I'm saying? He don't he that wasn't going out of his way to disrespect. He really didn't know that that was a no-no. Mm -hmm. He really didn't know. He knew enough to try to get permission first. I could co-sign that because yeah, he, he tried to just he was just trying to pump the fight up. When, and, when the know. fire got the boiling, I was part of reaching out to him to let him know what was up. And he came on my platform to kind of express himself. And I can say genuinely when I got at him, he was really like oblivious he was shocked he wasn't trying to be shocked. right right he, he yeah. even turned around and made a video apologizing yeah we him, all agreed to promote cool. the fight together right and he just thought which was you know on a marketing standpoint it was still a good marketing thing but it was a lot of other things to consider right. that he probably didn't consider it, it mar the mar this youtube stuff and and gang stuff sometimes don't mix you walk in a fine line especially when you come from the culture we come from but you in this social media world now you have to walk a razor's edge on if you too much, if you can't bleed them both together. And that's the thing I try to do. That's why I tell you, I won't never get into it with somebody from Cali. It's just like when I did, you know, uh, you know, when I just did uh, last month or a few weeks ago, the rebuttal on what the essay was saying. And when I said what I said hmm. and the little homie from Park, you know, I mean, from Imper uh, from PJ's, he said what he said. And I just took it. Like I said, I take a loss first. I made. I did make a video saying, "Hey, homie, don't take it personal." 